This is eastern white pine. It's in the family Pinaceae, the genus Pinus, and the specific epithet is Strobus. So Pinus strobus is the species name. Let's take a look at its characteristics. The bark of eastern white pine starts a smooth gray, as you can see along the branch here, and then along the trunk starts to break into plates and then eventually into furrows, similar to what we've seen on some of our hardwood trees. Eastern white pine's cone is long, as opposed to some of the other cones which are rounder. This is a long cone. It starts out um, all collapsed together, green, and then changing to brown. And when it's first developing, it has this, what's left here is uh, remaining resin. And so it's all kind of glued shut with this resin until it starts to open. These usually hang down off of the branches. You can see that the needles are very thin, light. They're much softer than things like ponderosa pine or even Scots pine. So there's a much more delicate look to them. The delicate needles are attached in groups of five. So, and fairly short compared to some of the other things that you might see. So groups of five and fairly light color and fairly thin and flexible. Eastern white pine is probably one of the largest of the eastern pines, uh, forming a very straight, tall trunk and can reach maybe 200 feet, although that's less common today. Well, it has a very X-current form, so narrow branches at the top, when you see an eastern white pine in a natural setting, the top branches often start to flatten out and they can tower over almost anything else in the landscape.